honestly. And I'm serious because somebody told me maybe it's the tags you're using on your videos that disable them from being watched. I'm like, what? And he's like, well, people use keywords to get around. How in the hell can I put a video up on another channel, another anything? And there is no keywords involved. There's no special stuff I have to put on any video that I stick on this website for people to see the video. I put four videos out. And between the four videos, I get 206 or 208 hits in three days. Um... It is physically impossible for the World Wide Web to be limited like that. Um, I suggest you release the real numbers of how many people watch the videos because that will do be determination. That will be the determining factor of how many videos a person. If the person knows he's being watched, he's going to do a better quality video, quality of video. If a person knows that, don't nobody give a damn on the biggest video share network in the world if nobody gives a damn he ain't gonna up his game I can go on bullshit.com and put a video up and get over 5,000 hits in less than a month I go to the biggest share on the planet earth put three videos out and in three days they share less than 300 hits when if I place any one of those videos on this other video share, it, it come on in three days. I'd have been at on on the rated goals. At three days, I'd have been at what six hundred forty hits per video at least. I'm not saying that my videos are so great somebody gotta watch them. I'm saying my videos are so good. There's no reason that nobody's watching them. If I got 700 subscribers, how come only 60 people are getting to see my videos? Period. I should at least get 500 hits per video. Period. Now, did I experiment? I'm not supposed to be eating these things. These things are breaking my face out. My face is getting bumps all up in here. All that's, all that's feeling like there's shit itching underneath my skin. What I'm saying is this. It is physically impossible. For anybody, and I truly mean this in every sense of the word, it is truly impossible for anybody who has, like this, if you have 300 subscribers, right, and three of them yourself, that's 297 subscribers. There is no way in life you're only going to get 60 hits. Period. Period. It took me one year, a little over a year, to get 700 subscribers. When I had 200 subscribers, I was getting more average views than I am now with 700 subscribers. I check my account and it says my account's on good standings. And people say, well, your videos were flagged. Check my emails associated to all my YouTube accounts. And none of them say anything about me being flagged in any which shape or form. Now, my main peeve what makes me the maddest about this is when 
people type that they should kill other people on the bottom of my page. You tell me what I can and cannot say, but you allow people to say, nigger, I should kill your black ass because of the way you think. And they can literally write this in the bottom of my page, and that's cool. Most of this stuff they allow to be written on the bottom of our page is to incite us to make us do videos based on racist agendas. Period. Don't fall for that. So when the so-called Aryan whatever did wrote some stuff on my page and I went to their channel and it was all Aryan out and it was kill all this and black people this and black and that and black blah blah black people wouldn't be nothing without us and the world would be nothing without white people blah 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 they allow these people to type that they can kill me at any time on the bottom of my page but they won't stop me from saying that those people like that need a foot up their ass now my phone's ringing in true AIX form I'm gonna go see if that's a job calling me right back You know what? This is pissing me off the worst right here. Listen. This angers me. Hello? Hello? This angers me the most. More so than any racial bullshit I get. There's a rash of people calling my damn cell phone telling me about my products, my insurance, my credit cards. This shit costs taxpayers minutes. If you buying your minutes from AT&T, uh, Sprint Mobile, or Visa, whoever the hell you got, whatever you get in your cell, AT&T, Singular, uh... All them damn telephone people, except for the ones that got that one rate per month. Those guys are all right so far. I ain't seen Metro PCS and a few people like that who got that one price per month. I don't hear no problems about that. But when you got somebody calling your personal phone number, talk about your car insurance or oh, your vehicle warranty, that is the Internet selling your damn phone numbers. That should be illegal. I thought it was illegal. I told this dude... How did you get my phone number? Which company sold you my phone number? He got defensive on me and started yelling at me, sir, 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 I'll take you off the list. I'm like, you haven't taken me off the list because you guys been calling me for six months. And they call you right before your damn next phone bill is up. They burn up our phone bills, calling us about some damn shit that we don't have nothing to do with. And if you can say bitch on TV and ass, I should be liable to say I should be liable. I should be allowed to say shit on the internet. That isn't right for our telephone companies to allow mass, uh, what's, what's those calls called? I'm just frustrated. That's it. I'm snapped. And of course, they'll cut my videos short and make me not even want to be on YouTube anymore. Oh, YouTube, guess what? Somebody offered me 36.5 to work on something, YouTube. Should I do it? 36.5, YouTube, to give up like 15 or 20 years of my life working on a few projects. Undiscovered talent. Alternative music. Alternative sound. 34.5 YouTube to produce alternative music. 30 34.5 for eight years. Everything I do comes out of this 